Hi everyone, in this video I'll be doing Advent of Code 2021, Day 20. Now you might have noticed, as of the time of recording, I haven't uploaded Day 19, my explanations and solutions, uh, and that's because I didn't solve it. It's just too difficult a puzzle for me to solve at the moment, so hopefully in the future I will solve it and upload a video explaining it, but it was a challenge for everyone, so don't be worried if you found it challenging. Um, so yeah, today's puzzle is day 20. I'll be doing the puzzles and then explaining them. As always, the code is linked to in the description, so let's get started. All right, let's explain the puzzle. So today, it was quite a bit easier than day 19 and day 18 comparatively, but today was not without its challenges either. So um, hopefully you've read the puzzle, but just as a summary, where we're given an image and we have to enhance it given an algorithm. And this algorithm is basically uh, acting on every pixel and it's simultaneous updates as with many previous days on the image. There's some sort of binary stuff involved and Basically, we have to enhance this image twice for part one. The catch is that this image is infinitely big, so we do need to take into consideration all possible points, like within a reasonable range, um, obviously, but we do need to consider all, consider all possible points, not just the ones that look that, like they're inside the image, and that is the part that tripped me up the most. Basically, um, here, here's my code. I did not put this into a new file as I should have, but basically, um, I wrote a bunch of methods here. Basically, I'm storing the image as a set of points that are lit as opposed to like a big array with all of the points, pixels inside of it. Um, I just thought this was easier and there's going to be not that many points lit, maybe like up to half. So our memory is going to be a bit better, perhaps. But also it's just easier to work with. Okay, now, since we're representing as this, uh, this as a set of points, we need this convenience method to get the bounds of the image. So returning the minimum and maximum X and Y, or I'm using rows and columns here uh, for all the points in the image. Um, now I just have this for debugging. It's not really necessary, but it's helpful to see the end image. And then this is really the uh, the core of my, my solution here. Um, it's enhancing an image and given bounds, so like reasonable bounds to which consider, uh, to which inside which we consider points we want to enhance this image. Uh, we're, we're unpacking these bounds right here and we're just looping through all the relevant points inside this range. Uh, and then we're making, we're keeping track of this binary string and then we're looping through all the nine points around this pixel. And then we are adding a one if it's lit or a zero if it's not lit to construct the index of the, our algorithm. And then if the algorithm has a pound sign where this index is, we light it up, otherwise uh, nothing happens. So that's all pretty standard, but the, the tricky bit is determining what bounds we should use, because the bounds technically should be infinite, but obviously we're not going to use an infinite image, because that's, we're not. Um, so we do have to be careful to use reasonable bounds. Reasonable bounds. Um, the one catch here is you might think, okay, well, what if we just consider only the min and the max x and y? Well, that's going to be an issue, because in the input string, I think Eric made it so that if no points around you are lit, that's the first character, it's actually going to light up. It's like the game of life. If you have no neighbors, then you're going to light up. So the whole background of the image is flashing, uh, lit and between lit and not lit, because all of them are turning uh, on. And then also when you're surrounded by all not lit neighbors, then you also, I mean, when you're surrounded by all lit neighbors, you turn off. So the background is flashing between every enhancement. So we do have to be careful of that. We just start with a really big range, like 200 expanded in either direction. And then every time we shrink the bounds by three, because when we're enhancing an image, the, the image itself grows, but the care that the bit that we care about um, kind of shrinks. Or actually, we, we need this as a sort of margin of error so that when we're considering the image to be an infinite image we have the appropriate like borders that are either lit or not it lit for every enhancement i realize that might ha not might not have been very clear but basically we just need to make sure that the infinite bit of the image is represented properly and that we can keep track of which parts are lit and not lit appropriately so that's it for part one for part two it's the same thing, except we need to do it 50 times. So this is like day six in disguise. 
and also another day where we had to just iterate a bunch more. Yeah, the polymer, the polymer day. Um, so we just need to iterate it 50 times instead of two times. And as you can see, my Python code takes quite a while longer to execute for part two, but it finishes within like a minute or something. So it's not that bad. So yeah, that's, that's it for uh, day 20. Hopefully you found today a bit of a break from the past two days, which were very difficult. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, I also hope you enjoyed the puzzles. And then I'll see you tomorrow for day 21. Thanks for watching.